In this video, I want to talk about MRI scans. I want to talk about what is an MRI scan, what are the good advantages about MRI scans, what are maybe some of the things that are perhaps not so good and we need to be aware of so that you can be making an informed, balanced decision on whether you should be getting an MRI scan. So stay tuned. Thanks for checking out the channel. My name's John, head therapist here at John W Sports Injury. If you are new to our channel, it's great to have you along. We want to be doing three simple things. Help you understand your body, get rid of your pain so you can achieve sport, exercise and wellness goals. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you think that's the type of content you want to be seeing, hit the subscribe and the bell and you can do me a favour. If this video you find to be helpful, you think others would want to see it, smash that like button. But firstly, what is an MRI scan? Well, an MRI scan stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging and really it's the most uh, detailed graphical scan that we can have on our bodies. It usually involves us laying down and going into a tube and then the imaging takes place. They typically can last between half an hour to 45 minutes, perhaps even a little bit longer, but effectively what we get back from those is a segment or body part chopped up like an onion in terms of its imaging so that we can see all of the important soft tissue structures. So the difference to something like an x-ray where we're looking at bone is now we can see muscle, tendon, ligaments and all what's going on in that area. So they're incredibly helpful for us to understand an injury and that really is that biggest advantage. But what we also have to be aware of is that actually some of these um, things that can come back and some of the information that we get back sometimes can seem a little bit alarming. We might see words like uh, chronic, bulging, um, prolapse discs, edema. These types of terminologies, degeneration is another word that we see a lot, um, or dehydrated. These sorts of words can pop out of these MRI scans in the findings that we get and cause an, uh, some alarm. Now, I think it's really important to understand that our bodies naturally degenerate. One of the frustrating things about life is as we get older, we do generate, degenerate. So understandably, whenever we put our bodies through this sort of level of detail and investigation, there's a good chance that we might find some of these things. But it should also be noted that research has shown us that lots of MRIs have been conducted on people who have absolutely no pain, completely asymptomatic. And some of these findings have come out, some of those words that I previously mentioned. So it's important that when we're getting an MRI scan and we have these findings, that actually we are making sure that we're speaking to the correct people to truly understand what these might mean, because they might be a completely natural response and actually not be contributing to our pain. So we have the advantage that they are incredibly helpful, incredibly detailed, and give us some really good understanding of what's going on. But we must balance that with the fact that actually some of the things may be red herrings, if you like, or actually misleading. And research has shown that lots of us, particularly at a certain age and from perhaps sport and exercise backgrounds, will have some of these things found on an MRI. But it's not something that we necessarily need to be worried about or alarmed by. So I really think it comes down to circumstances as to whether you should have an MRI scan. Now, there's lots of variables in this. If we're a Premier League professional football player and we sustain an injury, we have the resources available to us to quickly get an MRI scan and that information is going to be helpful for the medical team to provide the appropriate rehab. But for those of us that don't have those resources available, we have a couple of options. We have the option, um, in the UK anyway, of using our NHS services but again because these MRI scans are very expensive and should only be used for those who really require them they can be very difficult to get and there may be long waiting lists we have the option to go private but again this does come at an expense so really for me the decision around MRI scans is ultimately to decide if we need a surgical intervention so I wouldn't typically recommend an MRI scan to be coming early in an injury rehabilitation phase. These are something that we might recommend if we feel that surgery is going to be a required option. So there may be certain injuries, such as if we suspect an ACL rupture, that might be a particular injury that we know we need an MRI scan for and we would recommend quite early. Knee meniscus injury could be another one around that. But ultimately, if we don't think that what we're going to be working on is going to require surgery for the general population, Population, then this might be a time when we wouldn't recommend an MRI scan because ultimately if we're not going to have the surgery anyway or we don't need the surgery then my question is always why would we have an MRI scan when we consider that it could 
provide some alarming or concerning information that might not actually be relevant to the overall rehabilitation process. So I hope that information has been helpful. I hope it's been clear as to the pros, the cons, to allow you to make a balanced, informative decision as to whether you're going to be requiring one. If you are concerned or you've been advised that you feel that surgical intervention may be needed then an MRI will give us that detailed information and that answer as a result but if it's not something that you're wanting to be acting upon or somebody is telling you who's qualified and assessed you that actually we don't think it's the right path then I wouldn't become fixated on an MRI scan either and would concentrate on other aspects of the rehabilitation process if you've got any thoughts on that or you disagree with my opinion, drop me a comment below because I'd love to hear that and I'll come straight back to you. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, if this is the type of information you want to be helping and helping to understand your body and how you can help it further, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you've made it this far in the video, why not hit that like button to show me that this is the type of content that you want to be seeing and this video has been helpful. But I'm going to look forward to seeing you on the next video.